Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my shake shake wife, Laura. I'm here with my sachet husband, Nathan. And we're here to try some gimmicky fries slash chips slash potato sticks. <laughs> Maybe not potato sticks. Yeah, so they're new McCain shake shake salt and vinegar fries, chips, whatever you want to call them. Yes, from the freezer section. Yeah. Not that we're sponsored, but that's where, that, that's where we found them. So um, these remind me very much of the McDonald's um, shaker fries that they had Every Which again. maybe is what they're going for. So, uh, this is one of three flavours um, that they've brought out. Salt and vinegar, probably the one I least wanted to try. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> um, when I went to Woolworths, they only had this one flavour. Um, I'm wondering this, if they're separated amongst like Coles, Woolworths, and, like independent Met, grocers. But. Yeah, nothing says exclusive on the pack though. So uh, I think it's chicken, I think one of them, and yeah. cheese and onion um, uh, is the, the other flavour. Yeah, so um, you pretty much, you set up all your gear like you would a regular sort of pack of frozen chips. Um, In other words, the oven and an oven tray. <laughs> yes, and then there's apparently a flavour satchel inside. You put that into the chips, you shake the bag around, and you put the whole the entire bag of chips on the tray. So um, we're filming this at uh, 8.30 at night, so I, I definitely <laughs> feel like a whole bag of salt and vinegar chips. Absolutely. Um, so let, let's um, bust into it. There's like a little tear yeah. kind of strip at the top, which did not make it Beautiful. all the way off. Ugh. So not off to a great start. So they're just regular. McCain's, they look like chips to me, but I have heard, I have heard them called um, like shake shake fries. So I don't I don't know. Uh, they look like chips. Oh, ah, here we go. Let us know if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of salt and vinegar. Oh, yes, it is. And it contains barley. Apparently. Which they've told us twice on there. Um, I'm not sure I'd want to cut at the line there. I think it would instantly <laughs> fall out, to be honest. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Uh, maybe not the best design of, of no, that line. So we've actually got the oven on, um, obviously, in the kitchen. Preheating, yep. We'll um, go shake this, put them in the tray. We'll film a couple of things in between, and then we'll come back and film what these taste like when they're out of the oven. So much detail. So much detail. Here they are. I don't really smell much salt and vinegar, to be honest. Uh, it was actually a really overwhelming smell um, Before in the bag. In. Yeah. So when, when I opened the bag after like we'd shaken it, um, you can probably see some of them a lot darker than others. That wasn't because we burnt them. Um, they were the places that there was a lot of flavour all in one spot. They sort of, yeah, burnt and caramelised almost. Yes, exactly. So some of them are not... So I'm guessing that one won't have a lot of flavour because it's really pale. Whereas one like this that has like a lot of darker bits on will probably taste more hmm. salt and vinegary. Nathan's already just been into them eating them. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a chip fanatic. Are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, very hot still. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, mind that. Hmm. It's nowhere near as strong as it smelt like after putting no. the, the flavouring in. They remind me of you'd get chips at like a fish and chip shop and they'd put a bit of salt and vinegar sort of, you know, seasoning or like mm. the, you know, vinegar on your chips. They're not too bad. It's really not strong though. So, I mean, if you really love salt and vinegar, like, maybe you're better off just making a bag of chips and like adding like it yourself. My mum would douse this in half a cup of vinegar <laughs> as well as all the, the pouch and all that. So... Mm. Because it really isn't that strong. It, it's a nice, subtle, smooth almost kind of, hmm. Mm. I don't mind that. They're actually pleasantly, um, well, they're, they're better than expected. Yeah, I'm going back in for another one, so they can't be too bad. Um, I think the only downfall is you have to use the entire bag. Mm. As, I mean, I don't know if you could, like, shake the bag and then put half in the, you know, in the oven, half back in the freezer, but... That would maybe get a bit iffy, with because then I, I feel like the flavouring would stick yeah. together a lot more. And we actually had a couple of... Stickages. Places where like they're kind of like this one had heaps on it and that's just Yeah, I feel like it'll get really weird if you put them back in the freezer. But, no, but that, I don't know, let us know. Maybe you've done that and it was fine. I'm not I'd sure. I'd definitely like to try the other flavours if we can find them. Yeah, I would like to see if they're as subtle as this one. Mm. But hmm. If you enjoyed watching this video, uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check back tomorrow. We have a video every single day. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.